Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Sugaden 2. Last time we went on a recruit fest, we recruited quite a few new people, which was pretty awesome. But now it's time to get back to the story, shall we? To the war room we go, as as Apple uh, implored us to do a couple episodes ago. Lord Ryu, glad to see you're well. It seems you were successful in forming an alliance with the Torad Republic. My name is Kasumi, Vice Chieftain of Rikaku Hamlet. President Lepant has ordered me to assist you to the best of my ability. I hope I'll be of use. We're gonna depend on you. I'm grateful. We've got a real chance to win now. Victor and Flick should know who Kasumi is. I mean, they were in Sukaden 1 as well. Don't be so sure. According to my information, most of the Highland Army has already left Muse and is headed this way. Luca Blight's first company and Joey's Atritis' third company. Plus the fourth company made up of General Kiba's former troops and the reinforcements from Harmonia. That's a force of, a force of 50,000 troops. 50,000? Good lord. Calling for reinforcements from Harmonia. It looks like Luca is planning on finishing this in one decisive stroke. They may be friendly nations, but that help from Harmonia will come at a high price. And as for our side, even if you add General Kiva soldiers and the reinforcements from Toran, we've only got 20,000 soldiers. More than twice our numbers. Lord Ryu, you still look tired. Get some rest. We'll finish this conversation tomorrow. Worrying won't help things anyways. Indeed, worrying is never good. You gotta relax. You gotta take some time. You gotta be... You gotta be all that you can be. So anyways, our castle's at level 3. I don't think I've shown um, the fact that Ryu's bedroom is now on the 4th floor. It's actually moved up another floor. I now have my own floor to myself, which is pretty cool. Anyway, here's Nanami and Palik out here in the middle of the night. Oh, Ryu, what is it? Uh, I thought you had gone to sleep. Palika still can't talk, man. When are you going to be able to talk again? Spit it out already. Ryu, how did all this happen? When it was just three of us, you, me, and Grandpa Kinkaku living in Kyaro, I couldn't have imagined any of this happening. I know. It's, we've come a long way. I now run this bitch. Grandpa Kinkaku was the hero of the city-state, and Ryu is leader of the G-Force army. It's like some kind of bad dream. Now we really have to fight against him. Fight against Joey. It is pretty sad, I must admit. Ah, uh, no, it's nothing, Polika. It's okay. It's really okay. I'm sure it'll be okay. Everything will be alright. Ryu, go to sleep soon. Listen to me. Everyone is counting on you, Ryu. That's why... That's why you have to stay warm and get to sleep. So you can actually go back to your bed and go to sleep right now, but I'm pretty sure this is one of the points in the game where you can actually go around your castle and you'll see a few random scenes. Um, I'm going to check the roof to see if there's one up there, but I don't think there is. Oh, there is. I'm wrong. Holy crap. This is not one I remember. What? Servic! Flick and Nina just chilling up here on the roof? How romantic. What? What are you doing? Everyone is either asleep or passed out. Aren't you going to sleep, Sir Flick? I can help you if you need it. I guess so. It always happens on the night before. Memories of past battles come rushing to my mind. I'm so jealous. I don't even have any. I've only lived like 16 years and I'm like a kid for at least six of them. Could you like, could you please tell me what you were thinking about? Oh, you don't even want to know, lady. Different things. Different things? Like your home? Or maybe like about the future? Or maybe like the battle tomorrow? Come on, tell me, please. None of your business, brat. Ooh. Th that's terrible. Oh, I get it. You were thinking about a lost love, huh? You don't even want to know. <sighs> yeah, just walk away, Flick. That's the way to go. Hey, wait a minute. Get to sleep soon. It's not good to stay up all night. Flick's like, F off, little kid. You're just trying to put a brave face, but that's what I admire so much about you. Okay, Nina. Wow, I'm not gonna lie, I do not recall that scene at all. Yeah, see, normally you can't go up to the... up. The, wait, what did it say? Oh, yeah, see. This would be a good place for someone to sneak in or out. Hint, hint. Hint, hint. Hint, 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 hint. Okay, so as I was saying... I've uh, never seen that scene. That was kind of cool. Can we talk to Shu? Does Shu have anything cool to say right now? Old Ryu, you didn't worry. We will win. Oh, will we? He's so confident. I love him. Shu is the greatest. Shu is the greatest. He is the greatest. So anyways, uh, besides that cutscene, we're going to see a, quite a few more if we go and talk to everyone. 
Um, well, we don't have to talk to everyone, but I'm, I think this is the part where you can actually go around and see a bunch of scenes. I could be wrong. I feel like this is too early in the game for that, though. I don't know. We'll go check, and if I don't see any other scenes, then this is not the point in the game that I think it is. Because there's a point in the game where there's just a bunch of people out, like, randomly in different places talking, having, like, last-minute conversation type things going on. Like, here's Keepa Klaus. There's Apple over there. If you want to set up your units... Oh, which actually doesn't sound like a bad idea. Can she let me set up my units right now? Because we are about to do a major battle after this shit. Freaking awesome. Okay, so we got some new recruits, right? Last couple episodes. First of which being Kasumi, who is an archer unit, which I have now just confirmed. Oh, God damn it. Apple resets your people, like, and I don't like what she does with them. I'm going to have to change this up a little bit. Um, we also now have Kiba's unit, which we haven't had since we uh, got him. I think I already set this up, though. Yeah, it looks like I already set this one up. Um, and then we also got Ada now, which we got uh, last episode. She's an, another archer unit. So we got two new archer units, which is cool. I think I'll keep the lightning on her. Jean has lightning status. Um, as for the other one, oh god, we'll just give her this, I guess, because Amelia is useless, to be honest. Adlai and Amelia, pretty useless, not gonna lie. I guess I'll just leave the rest as is, because I don't really have any other characters that are good, good to put on a lot of these. Don't worry, we'll have a chance to change these around to actually have some more useful setups, but for now, I think I'm just gonna leave it as is, and... I don't really have much other options, to be quite honest. Once I get some more recruits later, ones that I can actually use as my on my units, I will definitely reset those to, so those archers are a little bit better. But for now, they are what they are, and that's all they can be. Now, is this the part with the scenes or not, damn it? I feel like because I saw that Flick and Nina scene, I, I feel like there should be... This is the part with the scenes, but it's not, because we would be seeing a bunch of them as I walk through here, and we're not seeing any. But now I'm just curious to explore everywhere. Whoa, Flick, what are you doing in here? Huh? What is it? Oh, sorry. I was just thinking about something else. Oh, yeah? Uh, I could understand that. You mean you were up there with Nina. You didn't want to take advantage of the little BZ while you were there. So, yeah, I'm thinking of a different part, I guess. Because literally every time I go to a new spot, there would be another little cutscene with different characters. Clearly, that's a later part of the game. But I am glad I explored. That was cool to see that flick of Nina's cutscene that I honestly didn't even know happened. I'm very glad that I found that accidentally. I'm also curious to know if there was more of those and I just missed out on them because I didn't know about them. Maybe there's a bunch of those. Every time it's the nighttime and you don't go to sleep yet and you check the roof, maybe Flick and Nina have a bunch of scenes. I feel kind of dumb for not checking. Oh well. Let's go to sleep now, shall we? Up the stairs we go. La 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 la. Up the stairs we go. Tra la 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 la. Nanami. What happened to me having my own room? Nanami didn't used to share my room with me. We'll be in South Window soon. Our best strategy would be to capture Radat, then South Window, and then finally Reovades. Which is pretty much exactly what Kiba did. No! First we strike at their heart, destroy their headquarters, and the war will be over. Lord Luca is King of Highland. The King has his own ideas about how best to proceed. Let us be the advance guard. Hmm. As you like, boy. Who's this guy with the big fluffy blue hat? I also accompany. I will. I also will accompany you. We came from the distant land of Harmonia, and my soldiers are bored from the long journey. Sazerai, huh? He looks kind of familiar if you look at his face, and there is a reason for that. But we won't get into that right now. For now, let's get the f out of here. Good morning, Ryu. Sorry about what I said yesterday. I guess we have to fight, but be careful, Ryu. Of course, nobody can best me, for I am the champion of the world. Suck it. Anyways, all we're required to do now is head down three flights of stairs, which now is when you're going to want to start utilizing your elevator. I'm stupid for not doing so. Oh, yay. We got some more freaking thingies. Cool. So we got one from Vicky. Hi there, Funky G. I'll write more later. Bye-bye. You're Vicky. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for that. Error something is not right. I cannot seem to think straight anymore. Gadget. He had enough time to write a letter for it, though. Please do something. With all these villages and forts disappearing, it's hard to keep my map updated. Please end this war soon, Templeton. I told you all he was worried about was his freaking maps. He doesn't care about all the people dying. He just cares about all the places that are burning down. Freaking Templeton, you selfish bastard. Anyways, let's deal with this. Lord Ryu, the Highland Army has appeared in Radat. 
Lord Ridley has deployed to check the enemy's numbers. The odds have been against us in almost every battle, but this one will be our toughest. If we lose here, Two River will also fall the Highland Army, and if that happens, the fate of the city-state is sealed. I don't want to think about that. That Prince Luca Blight. No, I mean King. Fuck that guy. Don't even call him King or Prince. He's the fucking Blight of all of ha mankind. Report! Lord Ridley's forces have been ambushed and surrounded. At this rate, they'll be wiped out. Please send reinforcements. Oh shit, what happened? What? A great general like Lord Ridley ambushed? I didn't think that joint or had an army had so many good people left. Of course they do. Could it be? Leon Silverberg? Or could it be Leon Silverberg? Oh, they don't even know about Leon yet. That's right. Lord Ryu, let's send reinforcements right away. We can't let them kill Lord Ridley. Let's do this, man. We can't let him die. He's freaking Lord Ridley, man. Okay, prepare to deploy. If we let Lord Ridley die, um, we might as well give up. Because Lord Ridley is one of the most badass black people in the history of mankind. And he's not even a man. He's a fucking dog. How stupid of me, caught in an ambush. He's all by himself, too, man. He's surrounded. Caught in a trap, huh? Well, there's not too many. This will be just require a little finesse. Finesse, huh? Sounds like you're talking about cooking. What the fuck? See you, random bastard. Just have to wait for reinforcements to come. Assuming that we're gonna be there at all. Alright, so you start this battle off with Ridley by himself, literally. And you can win this battle. By that I mean Ridley can officially not die. A good way... Is there a good way to do this? I guess since he's by himself, he's pretty much fucked. Um, the best way to do this... Oh my god, he already got fucked up. Man... I regret attacking already. Basically, if he can tank through the rest of this, which is entirely possible, see what I mean? He's a fucking beast. If he can tank through this, then prepare to watch me win this battle. Now, I have never once won this battle. Oh my god, I already lost! Oh my god, are you kidding me? Here I am trying to explain that you can win this, but I already lost. I must not die here! I have so much to do! Now, Ridley can't die here. I'm already too late. Yeah, we're too late. Oh my god, this has never happened to me before, guys. Ridley! We had no choice. I'm withdrawing our troops. Is that alright, Ryu? I, I guess we have no choice. Wow. I'm not even gonna lie. I've never once lost that battle that fast before. I blame myself for attacking and getting, my, getting owned. So, anyways, what you can do is you can actually win that battle if Ridley stays alive and you get your people to him in time. Then you actually win that battle. Clearly, I had the worst luck possible, and he died in two fucking attacks. That's that's worst case scenario right there. Luckily, that doesn't mean he dies, but we'll get to that in a moment. Ah, oh, Lord Ridley is... All we can do is pray he'll be safe. The Highland Army has already occupied Redat, and now they're approaching South Window. The enemy isn't just the Highland Army. It's also made up of soldiers from another country. Oh, I thought I was going to be let down for a second. I got excited, but it's just Luke's little bitch ass. Sazerai of Harmonia. I know him well. Let me take care of him. What? What do you mean you know him? I don't have to tell you that. What did you say? Hey, hey, don't fight with the kid. That's right. You should be embarrassed losing your temper like that. Fucking Luke. Such a smug bastard. I love him. Damn that guy. If he's aiming for South Window, he'll probably attack by the book. He's got three times our number, so he doesn't need to be tricky. So, in that case, our strategy will be... If it's a strategy you're looking for, I've already got one. I'll explain tomorrow. For now, rest the soldiers. Indeed. Shu's always got something up his sleeve. Shu's a fucking badass. I love him. God, everything Shu does in this game is so precise, so meticulous, so makey-sensey. He's freaking amazing. Anyways, I believe the next thing we're supposed to do is actually go talk to Shu in his room. If I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong. I can be wrong. I'll admit it. But I'm thinking that's what it is. No, it's not it, huh? Maybe we just gotta go up to our room then. I'm, I'm honestly not recalling what we're supposed to do next. Oh, I guess it is. Up to the room we go. Oh, what the hell? What do you want, Sai? Ryu, i like to talk to you. Is okay? Sure, what the hell do you need? I left some tools at my house. As a craftsman, it hurts me to part with, part with my tools. I know that he's selfish, but would you mind going back to the house with me? That's all I came to like to say. I'm so embarrassed. 
Um, so Sai wants to go back to his house for some tools. Uh, that's cool, bro. I think we can do that. I guess. I guess. In fact, we should do that now. Let's do it now. We can do it after, but I feel like doing it now. So let's just do it. Um, to do this, let's head down to... Why am I walking down all these fucking flights of stairs? I want to go to the first floor. Just fucking use the elevator. God, is that the first time I've used the elevator on the entire LP? It feels like it, huh? Okay, so I don't really need a full party for this, do I? I don't think I do. Anyways, he wants to go back to his house, which you guys know is all the way back in Ryubi Village. So, yeah, we're going to have to get all the way back over there. So let's just grab Sai and go. We don't really need to bring a party for this. If you recall, R Ryubi Village is from the beginning of the game and has nothing but weak-ass enemies that we should be able to let go now, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. Let's just teleport over there. And yes, you can use Vicky to teleport all the way back that far if you didn't notice. To Ryubi Village we go! And luckily, since we have the blinking mirror, we can come right back as soon as we're done here. Oh, I haven't even talked about coming back to Ruby Village yet, have I? <laughs> Actually, there's people here still. Even after it got burned down, they still have an item shop. And they still have uh, a, an inn, which is kind of weird, but cool, I guess. Glad to see not everyone is dead around here. But that's not what we came here for. We came here to go to, to, to Sai's house because, well, he left some tools behind. Why he would possibly need these tools right when we're about to have a major battle against Luca Blight, I'll never know. But let's just do it now because, well, it doesn't really have anything to do with the story, but it'll be nice to get this out of the way. I am just about to say what we're doing here, but it's going to be pretty obvious here in about two seconds, so let's not worry about it too much. Let's just get there and see what tools he left behind. Maybe he needs his hammer. Maybe he needs his extra spears. Maybe he left behind his his skill saw. I don't know. What other tool could he possibly need? Screwdrivers? It's been so long since I've been home. I really miss this place. Now, where are those tools? They're inside probably, bro. What, 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 what? Who's this? Hey, Dad, where are you? Oh, God. T Tomo, what are you doing here? I never heard from you, so I get worried and decided to come visit. Oh, I'm sorry, Tomo-chan. When are you and Mom going to make up? Uh, never. I don't really know, Princess. Princess. Daddy, you need to get your life together. What are you doing with yourself now? Well, Tomo-chan, the truth is, I joined up with the Jifos army. I thought maybe my spear could be useful in the war. Oh, Daddy. Well, in that case, I'm going to join the G-Force Army, too. What? What? What are you talking about? What's the problem? I can help with the G-Force Army, too. Or maybe I should tell Mom what you're up to, using your spear again and all. Tomo, wait. Your name is Ryu, isn't it? I know, you're famous. I've decided that I'm going to fight alongside my father. Please let me join. Uh, do we have a choice? Tomo, why would you listen to your father? Well, I'll see you at Revane's castle. See you later. Okay, then. I guess we got Tomo. whoop de doo right? We got another little kid in the group. Like, that's going to be really useful. Forgive me, Ryu Ryu. I am embarrassed that you have seen Miwuru's face. So, yeah. Uh, we came here for tools, but we leave with a new recruit, which is good and uh, okay. Good because we got another Star Destiny. Okay, only because she sucks. I guess she's not any worse than Sai is. I mean, Sai is pretty terrible himself. Probably doesn't help that I haven't leveled Sai up. But uh, he's not particularly the most useful character in the game, I'll tell you that much. And neither is Tomo-chan. I think they do have a Unite attack, though, so if I ever feel like it, I might show that off. But it's going to take quite the convincing if you want me to show that off. Like, comment, subscribe. No, I'm just kidding. God, too much game grumps, man. Like, comment, subscribe if you want me to use Tomo and Sai's Unite attack on screen. <sighs> too much game grumps. Too much steam train. Too much of that. Alright, so we're done here. 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 We're, we're, we're done here. Alright, so what do we do now? <sighs> the next things we're about to do right now, guys, are going to be some major, major, major things. And I'm I'm thinking... What, what, where, where are we at on time? Where, where are we at? We're already past 20 minutes, huh? Or, or we're almost 20 minutes, I think, actually. <sighs> I don't really want to... Oh, please come! Hello, 
Please come to the restaurant. I will make something special for you. Certainly, Hayo. Certainly. Um, I'm not going to do that right now, actually. Uh, what I am going to do is see if the anything going on in the concert area. Damn, it's still nothing. You can't just go up there. Why not? I own this place. I do what I want. Well then, uh, shit. I'm in such a limbo spot on time. I hate when I'm do when I do that. What can I do right now that I could like just waste time doing? I'm gonna check one thing. I'm gonna see if Tomo is actually possible to put on a unit. If she is, that'd be fantastic. Oh wait, what? What? Oh, Ridley's gone. Oh, because Ridley's gone, he doesn't have his. Ooh, Humphrey and Miklatov are up for grabs. Hell yes, let's put them on people then. All right, so we got a person who can make a cavalry. So let's make a cavalry out of. We already made Gilbert a cavalry. Let's make. Huh, who do I want to be a cavalry? Kiba's already cavalry. Kasumi could be cavalry. That might be cool. It'd be cooler than having her have bodyguard. Yeah, let's do that. Well, let Kasumi be cavalry for now. This will all get switched back when I get Ridley back, but for now I don't have Ridley, so why not utilize this? And plus two defense. Um, plus two defense. Is there somebody hella useless out here? That like doesn't have healing. Lightning magic on her is good. Plus one on defense from Chaco. Freedy's only plus one. Fuck you then. Let's put Humphrey on him. Now they're. Oh wait, no, 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 no. I want heavy armor on one of my other people. In fact, Humphrey's plus two defense. Who should I put heavy armor on? Heavy armor sounds amazing. Gilbert already has plus weak, or he has plus nine. Okay, hold on. I'm, I'm really th thinking this right now. I'm, I'm overthinking this, I'm sure. Uh, who has... You know what we'll do? We'll put that... Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll put Chaco there. And we'll, yeah, that that's good. That's that's good. We'll have Ada have heavy armor. I don't know if that really matters. It really doesn't. At this point, Humphrey and Miklatov are going to get put back on Ridley's unit in the end. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and just do that. Because I like Ridley's unit to have the cavalry, which is really good. Uh, what else could I do on screen right now? There's probably some setup things I could do right now. Because our next episode... In fact, I should probably just tell you guys all about it now. We're about to take on Luca Blight, guys. And to take on Luca Blight, we're going to have to prepare a one party of characters to be utterly and completely kick-ass. Like, so kick-ass that they can destroy any enemy that's put in their path. That means I'm probably going to be taking a few parties to um, Cus Cus to make sure that they have upgraded weapons and stuff. I'm also going to put the Cyclone Rune on Luke. Where are you at, Luke? Luke, 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 where are you at, bro? Where you at, bro? Uh, he has the Wind Rune by default, but the Cyclone Rune is so much better that I'm going to put that on him instead. He'll have some awesome magic for, with the Cyclone Rune on. Screw the Wind Rune. The win Wind Rune is weak sauce. Wind Rune's for noobs, and Luke is no noob. Anyways, um, like I was saying, uh, we want to make a whole bunch of great party members. And you know what? While we're here, let's check out our new, our new appraisal shop and appraise this damn ornament I got back in Banner Pass. It's a Chinese dish. Woot woot. Completely useless. Maybe I'll put some of these random items I'm getting in the bath just for fun. And you'll see that I have a trade shop now when we got Gordon and Greg Minster. <sighs> well, anyways, what I'm going to do is I'm going to load up about three parties worth of characters with the best armor and upgrade their weapons as high as I can go or at least as high as I can afford. And then we'll see what I do from there because... We're coming up on the final battle with Luca Blight, and it's going to be pretty damn epic. It's one of the most epic things in this game, if there hasn't been enough epic things already. And yeah, it's going to be pretty freaking awesome, and I kind of, I'm kind of excited to get to this point. But anyways, um, off screen between now and then, I'll probably do a little bit of prepping. I'm pretty sure in the next episode we're going to get to that point, so I'm excited. So I'll see you guys next time, where we'll take on Luca Blight's. First in army battles, and then we'll see where we go from there. Peace.